So we've got this one hour special to write now. Huh. Uh, do you have any ideas? No, no. I've been, I've been uh, jotting down a few thoughts. Hmm. I also think, you know, the way we do it, you and me, like professionals, we always get, you know, the hmm. the creative juices burning. Hmm. I think we should also shoot us sometimes writing. Because that's what people would like to see. It's so a good idea. Good work. idea. So, so now we are the artists at work. Yeah. Let's just, yeah. Okay. So, so here's my first idea. What's your um, idea? It's about you, basically. Uh, you, basically, you. Um, okay, I've got an idea. Yeah. I think yeah. it's you and I together. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we should. Uh, do a no no wait one second see I've got, I've got this one okay. where you kind of you enter and then um no, you enter and you um you sort of um but this is this is this is, you just uh. just think of what is happening politically okay? right so politically we've at the moment got, see what is happening yeah uh, in politics per se we've got uh, i mean if you say politics as in the full <laughs> word we've got a few existing things okay, that sports what is happening Sports is a good. I already had an idea for sports mm -hmm. where basically you sort of come in huh. and then you. Um, Otherwise, we should do something on cinema. Cinema is a good idea. It's a good play. Always a safe so we just place. Let's think. Two minutes. Yeah. Just think. Okay, think. Yeah. No, I've already jotted down a few ideas. Just cinema think, think, quietly think. Mm. Just concentrate. Okay. Acha, um, uh, I have another idea. Shall we go for lunch? Yeah, let's go. Where are we going? Welcome to the hour that wasn't. Before we start the show, I just need to beautify myself. Remember, eyebrows are very important. In fact, it was Shakespeare who said, eyebrows make it the man. <laughs> Folks, first some sad news before I get into the jokey part. Sad news. Rahul is still missing. Uh, no, no, no. But Rahul, uh, I'm talking about Rahul Dravid, the cricketer. Not been seen for the last two days. And the IPL around the corner, Rahul is still missing. What did you all think? I was talking about Rahul Bajaj, the industrialist. <laughs> That's right. Catch the comb and let's get on with the show. The week that wasn't is now the R that wasn't, just for now. Let me explain. You see, the week that wasn't is like a 2020 game. The R that wasn't is like a test match. <laughs> get it? No? Okay. Another way to put it would be... Okay, let me try. The week that wasn't is like short films, but the R that wasn't is like feature films. <laughs> no? Okay, okay. Give me, give me a second. Uh, the week that wasn't is like Prashant Bhushan, the R that wasn't is like Arvind Kejriwal. Oh, no, no, not because Kejriwal is taller or bigger or, dare I say, longer than Prashant Bhushan. It's just that if you disregard the time spent on ads, in the R that wasn't, the actual time is 49 minutes. So, hence the parallel, beautifully. With this genius deduction, let's go straight to our first segment, where I bring you news that's anything but the truth. <laughs> Yes, they found Rahul, they found Rahul, I've just got the news. Yes, yes, Rahul Bose was hiding. They've got him back, they've got him back. Doesn't work anymore, no? Stop, we won't do any more Rahul things. A new World Wealth Report says that seven, believe this, seven out of the 20 fastest growing cities for the super rich in the Asia Pacific are from India, seven out of 20. According to this wealth report, the fastest growth of number of millionaires in India amongst all cities is guess, what? Pune! You won't believe it! Pune! Pune! Isn't that uh, uh, Sharad Pawar's bastion? I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, there's no connection. <laughs> Millionaire Pawar, I mean, no, I'm just saying. Anyway, Pune is the fastest growing city of millionaires in India, but soon it will be overtaken by Bangalore. I swear by God, this is true. You know, uh, after the parliamentarians gave themselves 50% pay hike? Only in India. Only in India. Of course, Delhi had the largest number of millionaires of all time, but all that changed since the Congress left Delhi. Just a few months ago, Delhi was number one. Now Pune and soon Bangalore, how the world changes. 1983 coup leader and former military leader, Mahamadu Buhari, my favorite human being, has become the first opposition candidate to win, to win a Nigerian presidential election and to oust the president via the ballot box. So, once again, Nigeria gets to pretend that it has a government. With Saudi Arabia's alliance attacking Yemen, and Yemen in the grip of its most severe crisis in years, with competing forces fighting for control of the country, visitors are faced with a huge dilemma. Uh, that's right, uh, no, no holiday in Yemen this year for your summer vacation. You can't go to Yemen. How sad is that? Call the children, I have to go somewhere else. Where can we go? Well, I'll think about that later. Okay, let's move on next to what we call the anger report. I'll just set it up for a second here, folks. You see, we have people in India who have a lot of angst inside them. Basically, everybody who lives in the country. They want to vent, they want to talk, they want to tell you what's wrong with our society and how to cleanse it. Here's a man who speaks from his heart. 
Unfortunately, he also speaks from another orifice which I can't mention. <laughs> Here he is, our anger report. <laughs> Sir, welcome to the show. <laughs> what kind of hospitality do you people believe in? After all, I'm a guest on your show. When I go to other channels for panel discussions, they have the decency to offer something at least, huh? <laughs> however small it may be. Tea, coffee, biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you people are shameless. I'm sitting here waiting for you to start your show and not even a cup of tea or a glass of water. Shameless! <laughs> Sir, you're doing this live broadcast sitting in your own house. That is completely irrelevant. No, no, no. How is that irrelevant? Am I your guest or not? Well, yes, you are. Therein ends the matter. In India, we say, Atiti Devo Bhava. Now, I am not expecting Amir Khan to come and serve me refreshments, but one glass of water? How do I explain to this man that I have no control over what he can serve or offer in his own home? Hey, hey, what are you muttering? What are you muttering? Doesn't seem like you know the meaning of manners. But then again, <laughs> you don't know the meaning of most words, huh? Uh, sorry, I, I, was, I talk to myself. I have a problem. I'm taking some medication for that. I'm sorry. I never wanted to say this on your face, but uh, you're indeed uh, a rude, vicious, petty rabble rouser who just loves the sound of his own voice and who lacks any sense of balance, reality, integrity, or even veracity. Ah, I know, I know. Eh? And that is why I am hugely in demand with some special English news channels. Uh, I guess. One channel thinks I'm nearly as good as their main anchor. <laughs> I just need to appear a little more patriotic, you know? No, don't take digs with that poor guy. He's got enough uh, publicity as it is. Okay, stop. Now, can we discuss some news that you want to talk about? Yes, yes. Isn't that why we have gathered here in this hot, filthy, uncomfortable studio of yours? No, again, listen. You are broadcasting from your own home, not my studio. Your home, my studio. Uh, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, whatever. Huh? Okay, listen, listen. Let's talk about Anushka Sharma and Virat Kohli. I'll help you. What about them? Well, you know the controversy that uh, they're seeing each other, you know, and... Are they? I didn't know. I thought she was seeing Dhoni. What? <laughs> Where did you get that from? Didn't she make a film about him just now? What film about Dhoni? Yeah, MS-10. Not MS-10, NH-10. Oh. It's a so highway. Uh, Dhoni's a person who goes on the highway on his way home. <laughs> it's nothing to do with cricket. Listen, listen. Let me tell you about the film. It's a thriller starring Neil Bhupalam. Neil Bhupamblam? Bhupalam? Bhup 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 what? Neil Bhupalam? It's, it's not Bhupalam, it's Bhupalam. What is this Bhulapam Bhulapam? Sounds like the name of a chief accountant in LIC Batuka branch. No, listen, may I say you are being casteist, you are being racist, you sound like Giriraj. And Neil used to be a nice name till that Neil Nitin Mukesh came along. Huh? I don't understand why does he have his father's and grandfather's first names attached to his own name? What will he name his son? Bunty Neil Nitin Mukesh? Huh? And grandson? Chunky Bunty Neil Nitin Mukesh? When will it end? Don't be rude, it's just to keep his ancestors' memory alive. Memory alive? Hey, you tell me, huh? when Chunky Bunty Neil Niti Mukesh becomes an actor, maybe they will remember who the great Mukesh was. But do you seriously think they will remember Neil Lukesh Mukesh or whatever his name is in 40 years from now? People have forgotten him 40 films ago. That's absolutely not right and a little mean. He's a very fine actor. Now, is there anything nice you want to say about anybody? Any good news that you may have? Ah, good news is that uh, uh, Mission Impossible 5 is releasing. Okay, and this is good news. Why? Yeah, but tell me one thing. Huh? These filmmakers of today, are they only interested in the numbers? Yes, yes, numbers. You're right about that. They are commercial interest collections. That's the world. I'm sorry. Hey, not those numbers, you idiot. The numbers like the uh, Mission Impossible 5. NH10, Fast and Furious 7, Chris 4, Rocky 12. Well, stop there, there's no Rocky 12, will you calm down? All that is fine, but what is the good news that you mentioned? What were you saying before that? Ah, the good news is that Mission Impossible 5 is releasing. Yes, yeah, so? And it does not star Anil Kapoor. Uh, this, 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 this is, this is good news. Now this I accept. Now this is fine. This is fine. Thank you and uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Of course, uh, this is the angry man. If you want to be an angry man on this segment, write to us and we'll disregard your letter as usual. <laughs> Moving on to our in-house medical expert in our segment, Medical News with Dr. Adi, doctor, I have seen his degree. It's uh, LLB, he's a lawyer. Yes, myself, Dr. Adi, doctor. You will find my name written at the bottom of your television screen. If it's not there, it might have fallen off. I will get it picked up and put back before the program is over. As I was saying, myself, Dr. Adi, doctor. And in the medical news this week, let's start off with this terrible news. 
I will pause because it is so bad. Also because I can't see properly. Swine flu is spreading like wildfire across the country with cases of those affected running into the tens and tens of thousands. But the good news is that experts say that as summer sets in and the temperatures rise, the virus will die by itself. In the meanwhile, health screening of passengers coming from affected countries has become stricter at all of the international airports, such as that uh, one in Mumbai and that other fellow of the airport in uh, Nam Suchanada, Calcutta, Dum Dum. <laughs> Let's go straight to New Delhi airport, where counters have been set up to screen incoming international passengers for this H1N1 disease. Next. <laughs> <laughs> which country, which country you have come from? New York, USA. Do you have h one Oh no, okay, okay, go next, next. Go, go. Thank you. Next. <laughs> which country? Which country? Mexico. Mexico, do you have h one I don't know, I have a cough. Cold, sneezing, bloody doors. Did I ask you all this? I said, do you have swine flu? I don't, I don't know. Don't know, that is a good question. You can go. Next, next, go, go. Which country? Dubai. Do you have h one No. What's in the bag? Liquor and chocolate. Show me. <laughs> quick, quick. This is for my dad mm -hmm. and this is wine for my wife. Wine for your wife, hmm? I'll have to confiscate this. What? Because liquor is not allowed or you can pay 200% duty. I'll pay the duty. Okay. <coughs> wait, wait. Wine bottles are not allowed in the country. Why? Because of H1N1. What are H1N1 going to do with wine? It's wine flu, wine flu. Now let me again take note. It was wine flu. Not swine flow, repeat. Wine flow, not swine flow. Now let us take some calls from patients who want to ask my advice. First, we have this caller from Mumbai, but let me just explain why Mumbai. It's because as a doctor, I have made sure there is no STD in the area. And that's why I cannot make a call outside Mumbai. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes? Is that the doctor? Uh, yes, yeah, this is the doctor, Adi doctor. How can I help you? Doctor, doctor, I have a very bad toothache. So knowledge, toothache. I suggest you call the dentist. Doctor, doctor, the dentist is closed on the weekend and my teeth are aching very badly. I am in great pain. Please help me. Yes, yes, by listening to you, I am also in great pain. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you see me? I can't come see you. And why is that? Because I am blind. What are you, what are you saying? Also because I am 95 years old, on a wheelchair and unable to move. So what? 95 years old? Yes. And you have a toothache? Yes. And you are unable to move? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Simple solution. Send your teeth to me. Ah, thank you, doctor. You're always very welcome. That's uh, my name, Dr. Adi Doctor. If you have a problem, nobody else can solve. And if you're very embarrassed to show your body parts in public, I am the person for you. Now we will take a quick break while I go and find the other fellow. You know, Namsu Chai? Baby, it's a bit Darius. Zaxis. Persino Dikrana. I don't remember those names. You take the break, I'll just find out the name. Namsu Chai. Yes, one sec, folks, one sec. There seems to be some fighting going on there. Some chap called Giriraj was denied a visa to Nigeria for some reason. I don't know what is happening in our country. Why get angry? Let it be now. Welcome back to the R That Wasn't, a show that's fantastic and less than an hour to keep everybody happy. Well, let's now check out our overseas account. And in this segment, we obviously feature news from abroad beyond Pakistan. But before we go to news from abroad, let's check out some news from home because it's all about make in India. Uh, hello? <sighs> Ma, 
sitting on a computer now and, and, and Mikhail, he's watching TV and he put it too loud and now I can't listen to you. What do I do? And grandma's now hitting me and twisting my hand. Ow! Please come home, I'm begging you, please! Maya, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, later, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't the kind of local news you wanted to hear. So here it is, our segment on international news. Who did that bit? <laughs> Who's responsible for that bit? International news. <laughs> All right then, let's go straight and see what's happening in Yemen, which is the battlefield, I'm told. Let's see what's happening in Yemen. Yemen, Cyrus man, Yemen. <laughs> It was worse than my daughter's thing and even worse to look at. Okay, stop that. Let, let, let's, let's move on. We have some international news. Folks, you know about power cuts and problems in Turkey. So let's check out Turkey. to the tech world where Apple announces revolutionary smart watch. Yes, it's a launch that everybody has been waiting for. And if one was to judge by the excitement, the Apple Watch is expected to become the ultimate iPhone accessory. It's a wrist-worn device that constantly remains in contact with your smartphone via Bluetooth. So joining us now is our very own, very excited tech expert, Mr. Charlie Kapoor, who allegedly also freelances for Apple for a huge salary. Charlie Kapoor. Yeah, yeah, hi, I, Charlie. Yeah, I know. So, Charlie, I'd like to start. No, 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 I, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, Charlie, I want to begin. No, no, no. Why did you listen? My name is I, Charlie. I, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. I, Charlie. You see, everyone who works with Apple is called I something or the other. Really, really. So, if I worked for Apple, I'd be called uh, I, Cyrus. No, you'd be called I, Fat. I pause. I prefer the turkey in the beginning. That was much funnier than that. Okay, tell us about the new Apple Watch, Mr. Kapoor. Well, uh, it's going to become the rage. It's the most exciting thing ever to happen. So, uh, is that an Apple Watch you're wearing there? Yeah? Uh, yes, yes, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, you like that color, huh? Little pink? <laughs> yes, <laughs> traditionally it goes with my outfits, yeah. yeah. Why, why? Yeah, I get that, I get that. You like pink. But right. well, why don't you describe it to us? Well, maybe that's more your style, but <laughs> I don't swing that way. Yep, yeah, here goes. I, first and foremost, the Apple Watch comes in two sizes and many different styles. Oh, like Amir Khan before the launch of a new film. <laughs> Let me finish. It uses the new custom Apple S1 chip to power the watch. It comes with Wi-Fi, it comes with Bluetooth. Also on the back of the watch is a heart rate sensor, an accelerometer. Your viewers will love to know we have GPS. It'll deliver notifications, alerts, calendar entries, and it lets you answer calls, obviously. Your emails are easy, messages and stuff. All that on your wrist. Wow, that's great, great, go on. You know, it shows the weather, upcoming appointments, and your location on the map as well. Cool, great, I need more, what else? Oh, everything else, man, including music, apps, plus it keeps a record of calories, space, time. Calories will be good for you, you know? <laughs> calories, who needs that, but interesting, super. So, uh, what's the time? What? The, the time, what's the time? Oh, um, <laughs> the time, uh, oh, oh, for the time, I, I, uh, I, I, we've got the phone for the time. Ah, I, so I, for the so time you need the, the phone. Uh, there you the go, phone. phone. No point having anything on your wrist unless you're in jail, in which case they put those other things and make you walk around, but that's different. Not yet for the Apple people. Ah, oh, let's go back to something very tragic, very sad from our part of the world. America's greatest comedian, after the vice president, uh, Jerry Seinfeld was supposed to perform in Mumbai, and we were all so excited, so excited. Just take a look. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Do you know that I actually freaking cancel an event so I can be at NCI to watch the big Jerry Seinfeld? Man, I'm so excited about <laughs> Seinfeld. I just said whatever happens, I'm gonna be there beating to it. I'm gonna be there. For me, it's Seinfeld and then God. Are you telling me, man? There's Seinfeld and then there's God, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Who is this Seinfeld? 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 Who is Seinfeld? Who is this Seinfeld? Who is Who is this Seinfeld? 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 Who is Gopal, shoot over now. Chalo. I mean, uh, Done for I it. don't know what I'm to say. I'm gonna go. So, yeah. Bye. 
अरे बता तो दो हेलो हेलो अरे बताते तो जाओ हुए साइनफेल्ड साइनफेल्ड स्टिल नॉट नोन इन उत्तराखंड स्पेशली हल्दवानी Yes, message for Jerry Seinfeld's people. If you know make in India, you know play in India. Simple. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I sound like West Indian though for some reason. This coffee I've had. I'm sorry. Let's go straight to New York and talk to Jerry Seinfeld's alleged agent, Eileen Famous, uh, like the studio. It's just Eileen, darling. Just Eileen. Uh, Eileen. And I'm famous. Famous. Uh, that's what I said. So who do you want? We got Jerry Seinfeld, Key and Peele, John Oliver, Jimmy Kimmel. We've got Seth MacFarlane somewhere over here. We've got a whole bunch of people. No, so we don't have such high standards. Just slow down. Slow down. They're all in my portfolio. Let me have a look. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld's free. His show just got canceled in Africa. In Africa also. Yeah, some city called Mumbai. Mumbai, that, Mum, Mumbai, that, Mumbai. That's not Africa. That's India. Oh yes, India. Yeah. That's near Africa, mm, right? No, not really. No, but then I think we've got Key and Peele free sometime next week. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be happy to perform in India. They even look Indian. Those two. Uh, not really. They don't. But uh, yes, they do. They look distinctly from the south of India. Uh, you lost me. Uh, south of India. Yeah, like they look like they're from Zambia. Or what's that place called next? To Zambia, Botswana. Uh, Zambia, Botswana. That's Africa. We're we're in India. They're two different. But one is a continent. Yeah, of course. I know where Indians come from. Come on. We come from India, just to get out of here. Indians come from New Jersey. Not India. No, no. I'm pretty sure. Me from India. I'm in, in Mumbai. Oh, I get it. You're from that place where Jerry Seinfeld's show just got canceled. Yes, yes, I am. That's a really famous city. That's right. Yes. That's a really famous city where they don't have parking. Yes, that's how we will be known in future generations. I'm so sorry, but I can't send guys for any comedic acts. Why? Reputation. You guys have lost your reputation. Jimmy Kimmel, we want to do a show in Mumbai. Ellen DeGeneres also wanted to. Jay Leno nearly signed, but the Seinfeld thing is bad. It's really bad. I gotta tell ya. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. So, are you also confirming to me, ma'am, that Seinfeld had to cancel his show because of the parking in Mumbai? Yeah, is this story actually true? Yes, it's true. And there's one more reason. One more reason? What? Seinfeld finally canceled the shows after he was given a small list of words he couldn't use by some guy named Pelage. Pelagianalani. Pelagianalani. What? I got the list right here. If you want me to read it. Okay. What's the meaning of her? Oh. Oh, this one's nice. Her. Ah, you can't say all that on Indian television. No. Okay. I'm surely I can say. No, 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 no. It's like America in the twenties. Don't do that. Okay, okay. Nilani, is he Italian, Nilani? No one knows for sure. No, he's not. I mean, he's not. By the way, I've got a brand new young comedy act that you guys will love. I can send over to Mumbai in no time. Really? Well, you know, I'm the wrong person to talk to for dates and you know coordination and all. But you must watch out for her. Next big thing in comedy, I gotta tell you, great girl. Kani Sirka, heard of her? Okay, I have to stop you there. I've had enough of that hideous makeup. I cannot take it anymore, quite frankly. We can't have both people looking strange on television. We'll take a break and then we'll come back. You ask why we take a break? I will tell you. It's because you are. <laughs> Oh, I've just got this uh, trick question that just come in. What's the difference between some guy called Giri Raj and the now extinct Dodo? <laughs> and the answer, apparently, they're working on it. They're not sure. They're working on. It. Nobody has an answer, apparently. But this is not from me. Uh, this is from the other writer, Mr. Kunal Vijaykar. <laughs> Last month was also Women's Day. Speaking of Kunal Vijaykar, a uh, Women's Day, Sunday, 8th March, was Women's Day, a day where we. Celebrate women. That's right. We celebrate women, whatever that means. Speaking of Women's Day, we must also talk about Indian men. And what is worse? What is actually worse than Indian men? I'll tell you. Indian men dancing at a party <laughs> with each other. <laughs> Why do Indian men do this? We do all this to impress women on the dance floor, and this is how it goes. It's amazing the paradox. Take a look. <laughs>
तू मेरा भाई है भाई 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 बाबू स्लो स्लो लड़की लोग नहीं लड़की लोग नहीं लड़की लोग नहीं नाचेगा नाचेगा I love you, man. Love you, my sister. That's what heterosexual Indian men say to each other every day. I love you, I love you, I love you. By the way, the actors use one guy called Giri Ram something and the other guy called Sharad something. Third guy called Cyrus something. That's right. I hang my head in shame. What also happened last month was the Cricket World Cup, if you remember. Unfortunately, India did not make it to the finals. It was Australia v New Zealand, and Australia picked up the World Cup for the fifth time and became world champions once again. Okay, now winning and losing is part of life. And in this ICC World Cup, some teams have won and obviously some teams have not won. But all teams have strived for a win with a reason to win. For Aussies, it was all about Husey. You know, Phil Hughes, that wonderful young talent who lost his life so tragically last year. It's a spiritual connect for that team and that country. Do it for Phil Hughes. Win it for Australia. Win it for Hughesy. This year for South Africa to win, the motivation was very high. The rainbow nation needs togetherness. Victory in the World Cup unites all the races and groups of the country. So, win it for South Africa. Cricket makes us one. All right? New Zealand cricket came of age because of the great Martin Crow, who was known as the White Richards. He nearly won them the World Cup in 1992. Now, sadly, he's in the last stage of cancer. They want to do it for Martin Crow. So win it for Crow. Win the cup for New Zealand. Win it for Crow. Yes, very, very special spiritual connect, spiritual reasons. We Indians too have very special reasons for trying to win the World Cup. Let me get into that. Sachin! 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 Stop, stop, that was four years ago. Stop that. Please stop that. Oh, okay. Now tell me, tell me, sir, like the rest of the teams, the Indian team also must have some special, beautiful reason for winning the World Cup. What would that be? Sachin! 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 Stop it! Besides Sachin! Uh, uh, besides Sachin, uh, lots of motivation. Yeah, come on, now like what? Uh, huge checks from the government, uh, special oh. bonus, cash prizes Ooh. by the BCCI, large tracts of land from the state government, big contracts <laughs> from IPL, brand endorsements, big fee to go as chief guest for wedding and all those kind of thing and free appearance on Kapil Sharma show. Yes, is that it? Uh, and one last, one last motivation. What? Anushka Sharma. You saw her, no? Anushka Sharma. Bigger motivation. They need all these motivations to play, na? All right, it was World Cup season and of course we had this show called Silly Point which you ran on the air which told you about the passion, commitment and love, spirit, zeal and effort from the Indian cricket fan. It's not just about the cricket, it's about the Indian cricket fan. So, any last request? Yes, uh, one phone call please to my wife. I just want to know the match result. Uh, it's nine eight seven seven three four one two seven. Thank you. Hello. Uh, uh, darling, uh, darling, it's it's me. Oh hi, darling. Where are you? Will you be coming home for dinner? No, no, Rashmi. Uh, how many times do I have to tell you they are hanging me today? Oh good, because I haven't made any non veg, huh? <laughs> Forget about all that, Rashmi. Just don't discuss that. Tell me, did you did you watch the match? Yes, I did. And, and and who won? Who won? Spain. Who would have thought? Spain? Sorry, sorry. Time's up. Time's up. Chance, chance, chance. What? 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 Spain. India. Hello, Rashmi. India. Come on, India. India is cricket match. Oh, the cricket. Yes. Yes. China lost, but she put up a good fight. You you should have seen it, especially in the last over. It was amazing. No, no, no. Help me now. Help me now. What kind of woman are you? Yes. 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 India lost the semi-finals. Yes. Will you stop that? Will you stop that? I mean, are you actually happy India lost? Yes. <laughs> what are you? I mean, are you anti-national? You don't support the Indian team? I, I support the Indian team. Of course I do. I'm a big fan of the Indian team. Stop behaving like that. India lost. Why are you celebrating? Listen, listen, no, no, don't, don't, don't misunderstand. Okay, I'm sad for the team, but I'm happy that I don't have to watch Indian males dance to celebrate the victory, like. This.
Australia! 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 Nein, right, brother, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, yeah. Thank God, ooh. Oof. How come you are in a full kit, bro? Hey, Baba, you know, for India matches, I always like to wear a full outfit, nah? just for luck, yaar, while cheering. Wow, you're like a real fanatic, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I got it all, man. I got the pads, I got the thigh pad, back guard, helmet, abdi guard, the full Monty, yaar. anything for India. Come on, India! So, you're like the India's number one fan, I, Arey, I must say. Yaar, number not just one me. Fan. Sanya, my wife also, yaar. she wears the full kit. India! What a couple, full cricket kit, like made for each other. You're like made for each other. Kind that's of us, thing. Baba, that's us. Anything for India, India. But, uh, but ask Sanya to join us, no? Like, Sanya, Sanya, join us. Join uh, us, no? Nee, nee, Baba, actually, she's a little embarrassed to come out of the room. Why, why? Uh, you see, although we have the full cricket uh, kit on. Yeah, yeah so? Or, uh, we have only one abdomen guard between us, so. <laughs> Not a problem, not a problem. Uh, uh, I'll close my eyes and you can call Sanya. Yeah. Sanya, join us. Yeah, like, I've, I've closed my eyes, so that's not a problem. Sanya, Sanya, no! We can, still, we can still watch the match together, right? Are Sanya, yeah. thigh pad on the left side, yaar! Left side! Really? Yes! Good, 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 good. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. It's coughing on me, yaar. Baba, do baju pe karo na, yaar. Swine flu, swine flu. Oh my God, swine flu is everywhere. We'll get infected. Do you have mask? Oh, I think I'll go home. I have something. What? <laughs> Come on, India. <laughs> no, 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 don't take a chance. No, don't take a chance. Come on, we get, we get. Come on. We gave you zero. We gave you one. Now we will win the World Cup. Jitega Hindustan. Yeah. 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 India win! India yeah, win. win! The whole world says Jai Hind, Jai Hind! Yeah, India, 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 India is great! Okay, guys, we've got a really one. I've got a good one. Yeah. World Cup at sea. World Cup on land. The winner will be England! 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 Yeah! England? England? Well, nothing right. Seriously? <laughs> What? Nothing what? rhyme with India. India? So much rhymes with India. Like Cindy. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I swap this. What's wrong with him? Hey, <laughs> Baba, he's upset about the match. The quarter final? Are, yes, yes, the quarter final. He's upset that he came all the way to Australia. And then this. This what? Uh, the. He's upset with the quarter-final result, is it? Yeah, result, result. So, though, yeah, he's upset that after paying so much money and coming all the way to Australia, he had to watch Bangladesh. Oh. Yes, Bangladesh, not Australia, not England, not West Indies. Sala Bangladesh. Would you spend thirty thousand airfare and thirty thousand for ticket and sala one lakh rupees on hotel to watch this Bangladesh? I want to kill myself. I want to kill myself. This is called cricket racism. Hota, hota. It happens. But it's just a neighbor, na. You should watch it. No, no, no. Who will watch Bangladesh? Are you mental over here? Yeah. <laughs> here, I'm here in the stadium watching India play Bangladesh in Australia, Sydney. Um, actually, it's India versus Bangladesh in Melbourne. We're, we're, we're... <laughs> Okay, so cheeky. So come on, who do you think will be in the final? Because you speak English. So England, obviously, right? <laughs> Actually, uh, England is already out of the World Cup, so they can't possibly <laughs> play it. Just because they are not in the World Cup doesn't mean they can't win, silly. <laughs> now, who's your favourite cricketer in this World Cup? Because mine is Kevin Peterson and, of course, Rahul Dravid. Well, actually, uh, both the guys you mentioned, uh, Rahul and Kevin, they don't play international cricket anymore, so... Uh... Oops, looks like this is your first time at a test match. Well, actually, it's not a test match, it's a one-day game. Okay, you know, it doesn't matter if your cricket knowledge is limited, don't worry. I guess we're all happy as long as Pakistan doesn't win the World Cup. <laughs> Actually, I'm a Pakistani. I'm from Pakistan. I, 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 I've been to Afghanistan. Like I've, I've been, I haven't actually been there, but I watched the movie Kabul with John Abraham. I didn't watch the movie actually, but I heard about it. Oh my God, have you tried putting cashew nuts in your rice? Because I heard that's what Afghanis do. And raisins. 
but I don't like sweet in my rice. Oh, I'm so tense about the game, man. Yeah, but what, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? You're wearing your lucky pink shirt. I'm wearing right? my lucky pink shirt. I will not take it off. Yeah. You got the watch? I'm wearing it. On the same time for the Indo Pak match? Absolutely. When we won? Absolutely. Super, super. Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. All the best. Come yes. on, India. Come on. Let's come on. watch. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. The match is gonna start. Mm. Mm. Auntie, how are you? Uh, I think so, your mother-in-law is dead. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, she passed away during the Indo-Pak match, man. And after she died, India won. <laughs> oh, so why have you kept her body? Hey, Baba, she's lucky for India. We have to keep her body. Uh -huh. We can't move her till March 29th, final day. Uh -huh. Keep her, keep her. Mm -hmm. Give her also the chips, yeah? Uh, I don't want to change anything from last time. Yeah. Yeah. Your side, no? so, let her be on India side. Raju, Mummy ji go uthao. Oh, come on. Hmm. Gopal, hmm. I want to tell you something. Hmm. Bol jaldi, bol jaldi. Match is starting in five minutes. Jaldi bolo. <coughs> but I... I feel very bad about it. Hey, Bindal, Baba, come on, hey, bowl, na. Me, who, yar, you say what you want. Um, I saw your wife with my neighbor Akshay Dabbe. So what? So, yeah, it's making a khas baat. What's the problem, yar? What's the problem? Uh, they were making out. Actually. ठीक है, ठीक है. Let's focus on the game, boy. अरे मॉलियम. ठीक है. Hmm hmm. You're cool with it. अरे Baba, how many times I have to say this, yar? Shalu and I have an open marriage. Oh wow, so that means she can date others and so can you. Mm, not exactly, something like that. So, whom you are dating then? No, hey, she can date whoever she wants and I get to watch and exchange the World Cup in peace. Wow, what an idea, yeah? Great idea. What an idea. Hey, hey kya where are you going? Match alo ho gaya, bhai. What are you doing? I just speak to my wife, yeah. It's a great idea. I Hello, have a on speed dial. My phone sir? Hello? Yeah, what I was saying. Oh, Kunal, so any ideas yeah, about this? But this lunch was damn good, huh? Lunch was Very good. nice lunch. Come on, let's focus on writing now. Yeah, okay. So I've got this uh, one thought hmm. that uh, you have basically Gopal enters hmm. and then he. Um, no, no, I think you should make Kani's enter. <laughs> oh. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. But uh, let's look at the topics which are more relevant for this week. Uh, why don't we look at. Uh, perhaps, you know, that. What was it? What is that I know, I know, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but it's been done before. Let's do something new. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's one controversy which I can think of. What was it? I, it was in the back of my mind. I wanted to bring up it. What yeah. about that actress woman? What, what is her name? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, let me yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. It's in my head. It's in my head. Just don't talk. Don't talk. I'll, I'll come to my side. Um, I think you have to concentrate, no? Just, to, to, yeah, just, con con just keep quiet huh, for a minute. Let's see what yeah. comes. Can we go for dinner? Hey, come on, you know, man. I'm starving. Ready? The table not seen, just put a black cloth on it. Vijay? Are we shooting? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing nasal a little bit. Yeah, ready, ready. I love you, man. Love you. It's okay, I managed. I mean, I had to do a little cheating here in the hands. 